So somebody could have started a lot of conflict. I just seen the five of wands and the knight of wands. Now this could be someone that was trying to hide some type of secret or keep something hidden. And they've just created a tower. Yeah, this is somebody that was trying to stop the truth from coming out. And they felt like the actions that they were taking, whatever they were doing, it was going to prevent the truth from, from coming out. But it only created a lot of chaos, a lot of drama. This could be between a lot of people. We have the emperor. So you can be an Aries or this person could be an Aries. Then we have the Six of Cups. We have the Devil and then the Ten of Cups. This could be a toxic family member who created a lot of drama in the past to prevent something from getting out. Or this could be someone that was attached Somebody that you have been knowing for a long time, a family member have been knowing for a long time, they tried to prevent some type of secret from getting out. And this could be, they were wanting to keep someone stuck. It's like they're trying to keep somebody attached to them. They don't want that person to leave them. They want to keep that person in this, this um, devil energy. This could be bound to addictions, codependency issues. This could be a relationship, like a karmic relationship. But it's a destructive um, partnership. These are people that fight a lot, but they're bound to each other. It's like they're always going back and forth. It's always an issue. It's always something going on between the two. But somebody got afraid of another person like, Standing up and taking control of the situation. This could be just walking away. And they panicked. If this is like a toxic relationship, a toxic partnership that another person was in, this could be someone you know. As I said, this could be a family member. It's like people that are on the outside looking in, they think that these people are the Ten of Cups. Now, these could be people that have been attached to each other, um, each other for more than 10 years. These are people that could have met each other when they were younger. Like when, you know, they could have grew up together. But they were in a relationship. It's like two people want other people to feel like they're fulfilled, they're happy, they're blessed. They've been attached to each other for so long. It's a blessing that they're still together. But in reality, this is toxic. These are people that hate each other. They're always going back and forth. But they feel stuck to each other. They feel trapped. We have the Three of Swords. Yeah, somebody was afraid of a breakup, a divorce. They were afraid that they were going to lose this person. Now, one of these people could drink a lot. This could be an addiction. It's like one person does not want the other person to like better their self because they feel like if that person takes control of their energy, stand up and better their self, that person would leave them behind and they would feel stuck by their self. This is somebody that's like very desperate. And they've gotten accustomed to this back and forth energy. And another person could be tired of this back and forth energy. 
They're wanting to keep this person that wants to change. They want to heal. They're trying to keep them accustomed to this devil energy, feeling restricted. This could be a low vibrational energy. Just accepting the fact that things are not going to change. And it's because they're not making a change. The person that they're attached to, they truly don't want to change and they don't want that person to change. If this isn't a family member, this could be something that you went through or this could be someone that you grew up with. This could be someone who wants to reconnect with you, reunite with you. This could be someone you have not heard from in a while. So you have to take it where it resonates. Yeah, this person, somebody feel like they got tricked. If they trick this person, it's like all of that is coming to an end. Because whoever this emperor is, they're ending out a cycle. They feel like this connection has kept them like in a very low space, dark place. And they could have just sat back overindulging in some type of addiction for a long time. But they're realizing that they need to separate from whoever this person is, set boundaries with this person, learn how to control their self and maintain that control. They needed to block off the challenge. This person is someone who brought a lot of challenges to them. And they could have been going back and forth and back and forth with this person in this pattern because there was a lesson that they needed to learn from this particular person. This was definitely a karmic soulmate. It's like somebody needed to pull their self out of a situation in order to see their worth to want to better their self. Cause yeah, it's like, <laughs> this is too much. It's like somebody likes to fight. Yeah, somebody loves to fight. They love going back and forth with this person. It's always some type of tension, disagreement, conflict. They're not realizing that this is a rival. They've been connected to a hidden enemy this entire time. That was like sent to keep them stuck. Keep them in the energy of like feeling hopeless, feeling as if they cannot do certain things that they want to do or they're meant to do in life. Yeah, somebody needed to like stand their ground, like something, something was the last straw. This could have been a fight or argument with the five of um, wands and the nine of wands that made that person say, hey, I'm just done. And they got real guarded. Yeah, this was definitely a decision that they needed to make, but it took a tower for them to make the best decision or the right decision for their self to move forward, transition. Yeah, it's like somebody is releasing a lot of baggage. And they're just completely done. Yeah, this is someone who's definitely learning lessons. So this is a divine connection. Whoever this person is, this could be your divine counterpart. The situation has helped them to realize they need to set better boundaries with this person. Yeah, this is someone that's very needy and codependent. They're realizing this is someone who was trying to like keep them blocked off from being on the right path. And th this five of wands could be jealousy. They could hate the type of attention that this person get. They hate the type of respect, you know, how people honor this person or they could just compliment that person. They don't like it. Because they could be this person's main downfall, like this encouragement. 
They like to keep that person down. They don't want that person to feel like they deserve better in life. It's like they want to keep that person in the energy that they're in. Because they feel like that's the only way that they can hold on to this person. Whoever this, this karmic soulmate is, this is someone that's dealing with um, abandonment issues. Something happened in their childhood and they have not healed from it or they just don't want to. They're going about something the wrong way trying to keep another person stuck. As I say, this ended in a tower. It's like somebody felt like they were going to force another person to you know, stay attached to them or something like that because they really need this person. But they never expected for this person to see how how much they have blocked them off. Yeah, this is a karmic feminine energy. They want to have them stuck. You have under investigation. So somebody could be under investigation. Karmic justice is being served. Now, if this person is someone who fought back and forth with this person for a long time and then out of nowhere, they went to the authorities. They made it seem as if this person... um battered and bruised them i see the nine of wands and the five of wands they made it seem as if this person battered and bruised them so this could have caused some type of investigation somebody could have gotten caught up in a legal situation but whatever the case karmic justice is being served because this was a karmic energy that felt like they had to do whatever they could to keep that person stuck in this pattern, this same cycle. But it didn't work. It only created a tower in their life and somebody has completely moved on. This is someone who has been in isolation. This could be someone who does not go out much. They've been working on healing. It's like while that person was behind the scenes trying to trick them or cause a lot of trickery, They've been in this healing stage. Everything that this karmic feminine have been doing, it's been rejected and they don't understand why. It's like they're losing sleep. This is someone who was up all night trying to figure out why a setup did not work. This is someone that's going through a lot of financial loss because they were very needy and codependent to whoever this emperor is. Yeah, somebody got very desperate. And now they're going through a lot of bad karma. It's like they've sat back and watched this person make changes that they didn't expect for them to make. Thinking that they would be able to keep that person in a pattern. And this was definitely a cycle that needed to close out. Yeah, somebody is heartbroken. They, they're they disappointed. And it's like they're in this energy of wanting people to feel sorry for them after they created a lot of conflict, a lot of drama. They was expecting for this person to come back toward them with unfinished business being here. Wow. Yeah. Somebody was expecting for this person to um, reach out as well. And this is after they went to the authorities and, you know, made up these accusations against this person. They could have got upset because there was some type of meetup with the Six of Cups. This could be between you and this emperor in the past. Or maybe they found out this is someone that you're destined to um, partner up with. This was definitely an ex. 
Yeah, they could have found out this was your divine counterpart. And this person is someone who have chose to be single. And they feel like that person has moved on. They're going towards new love. And they can no longer control that person, be codependent to that person, go back and forth with that person. It's just over. This is somebody who did not think that they would be going through karma. They feel like this person is going towards a happy relationship. Because you see both of these cards, it has a couple on each card enjoying life, being happy, at peace. Yeah. It's like this emperor needed to gain the strength and the courage to make this change, make this shift. And it's like, if this is someone that you could have just had an encounter with in the past and you've lost touch with that person, they were going through all of this with a karmic partner. But they took a step back from that person, set boundaries with this person and got real guarded. They told this person that they just wanted to be single. You know, they weren't looking for a relationship. But in that this karmic feminist mind, they felt like they have a faded meeting with you. They know eventually this person is going to come towards you. So why not try to sabotage this person's life before that could happen? Not thinking that they would create a tower, a lot of negative karma in their life. It's like this emperor stepped out of the box and did something that they would not normally do. They're not used to seeing this emperor in isolation, being very guarded, wanting to be by their self. It's like it, them healing, taking out the time to improve their self, make changes in their life, left this karmic feminine at a stalemate, at a crossroad. This is somebody who got, could have gotten a lot of people involved in their chaos, in their drama. And now all of these people are going through some type of bad karma because of this karmic feminine energy. These people could be all under investigation for whatever they were trying to do behind the scenes to cause trickery. This is crazy. And if they went to, if all of these people went and made statements against this emperor, this emperor is, um something is being balanced out for that person. Because they didn't expect for it to be an investigation. And a lot of people that made whatever these reports are, these accusations, they didn't expect to be investigated. It's like somebody has received some type of good news involving a legal situation. Yeah. And they definitely know that this person is someone that secretly admires you. Whoever this emperor is, they could be wanting to come towards you. This could be a meetup. They could want to take you out on a date. This could definitely be some type of communication coming in from this emperor. This is someone who wants to tell you the truth. They want to reveal something to you. And they've been like daydreaming about this. This could be daydreaming about talking to you. Or they're just longing for you. This person cannot help um, that they think about you a lot. Or you're always on their mind. Yeah, reminiscing. So they're definitely reminiscing about this could be an encounter. This could be you and that person conversing, talking to each other or something like that. But this is someone that says reminiscing. I miss our inside jokes. 
Yeah, so they're definitely reminiscing about something that took place in the past or um, an encounter. We will always come back to each other reunion. So this is definitely your divine counterpart. There's a reunion that's getting ready to take place. This, this could be why they cannot stop thinking about you. They want to fix the connection. This is someone who is feeling guilty about something that was broken. Maybe they, they broke your heart or they feel like they broke up the connection. And they want to fix this. But this is someone that was dealing with somebody that was very tricky, very conniving and sneaky. And they could have ghosted you or just, you know, detached from you. Yeah. But however this person feels about you, no matter how far apart you and this person are, they feel like you and them are inseparable. This person ghosted you because they were overwhelmed. It's like, this is someone who went through a lot or they were going through a lot at the time and they needed to just clear their mind. Yeah, they feel like they sabotaged this connection and both you and them um, dealt with some type of emotional pain behind it. Yeah, they feel like there's a lot of chemistry. They have never felt a passion this intense. Being away from you has allowed them to gain a lot more clarity. Because they, this person, as I say, yeah, they were confused. This is someone who was in a confused cycle, attached to a karmic soulmate. And they wanted to keep them in this confusion. They fought hard to keep that person confused when they were trying to find their way out. This clarity that they have gained has given them hope after escaping this situation. Yeah. You know, they're wishing things could have been different or they could have done things different. This is someone who loves you unconditionally. This is someone who wants you. And they hid who they really are, who they really are from you. Finding out the truth about who this karmic soulmate like really is as a person, this crushed them. Because this karmic soulmate actually thought all of the things that they were doing was keeping this person stuck. But in reality, it was helping them to see they needed to make this change that they had already been wanting to make. They needed to transition. They needed to leave the situation behind. This could be someone who has recovered from some type of addiction as well. It's like somebody just did not know that they were dealing with their enemy. They didn't think that this person would be the person that would have them wrapped up in some type of legal situation. To keep them stuck. And this was to keep that person confused, not knowing who did this. Who would do something like this? This is sad. And if this wasn't like them saying that that person put their hands on them, this was like some type of domestic dispute. This could have been, you know... Them making, uh, going to the authorities, making false accusations, saying that this person is off into, um, a lot of things that they weren't off into. 
to have this person like under some type of false investigation. This could have been involved in addictions or something like that. They could have said that this person sold drugs or something like that. But somebody was definitely set up by a karmic partner and they were confused in the past as to who would do this, but not realizing that the person that did this was somebody that was a hidden enemy that entire time. It's like they could not wait for something to happen to backstab that person, betray that person, try to break that person. And they felt like this is the only way that they can keep that person stuck. And people on the outside looking in would think that these are people that are the true Ten of Cups. They've been attached to each other for so long. I'm so dumb. But somebody definitely switched, switched it up on this person. If they were, as I said, if they were accustomed to this back and forth with whoever this emperor is. This emperor decided to focus on becoming a better person. This is someone who wanted to be more than friends with you, but they just felt like the timing was not right for you and them. This is someone who needed to better their self. They needed to learn a spiritual lesson. And they needed to detach from whoever this person is. Whoever this karmic soulmate is, it's like now they're feeling like if they wouldn't have done all of this, created all of this drama, these towers, this emperor would not have gained the strength and the courage to want to change and work on their self. This is someone who panicked and created towers for their own life, but a major realization for whoever this emperor is. They didn't see this at that time. Yeah, but now their things are coming to light with the dragonfly. It's like they have no choice but to accept and adapt to this change. It's like this emperor chose to take out the time to isolate and heal. Now... Whoever this karmic feminine is, it's like they're being forced to heal, forced to make changes that they didn't want to make, forced to focus on their self, because this is what whoever this emperor is. And if this isn't someone that wants to reunite with you, this could be something that you went through. And the person that did this to you, they're, they're seeing that it did not change the outcome. If anything, it has given you a lot of strength and courage to transition, go through a transformation that they didn't expect you to go through. And now it's like they have to look in the mirror and do the same. Yeah, it's like somebody was trying to prevent this person from falling in love with you? They didn't want this person to believe that there could be equal give and take in a relationship. Yeah, this is somebody that was very narcissistic. It's like they walked around as if the world revolved around them. They were high and mighty or something like that. Yeah, this could be someone that's very um insecure. This could be someone who often meet up with different people. They have friendships with different people, no matter the sex, uh, male or female. And they didn't want that person to have friendships with other people, especially if it was people that were going to help that person or encourage them, inspire them to make changes in their life. It's like they wanted all control over this person. 
but at the same time, wanting them to think that they were the best thing in their life. Yeah, they didn't expect this surprise. They didn't expect this, um, this tower with lightning being here. They didn't expect this transformation. They didn't expect this person to get in the energy of wanting to manifest exactly what they want, what they feel like they deserve in life. And keeping a positive mind about it. Yeah. Somebody thought they were stopping another person from preparing for union? Because they knew about a faded partnership. Yeah, but they've sat back and watched growth. And if they were attached to this person in the past and they ghosted you, this energy got real mad when they found out there was a union that was supposed to take place between you and them. Now, whoever this is, if this is your twin, they were confused at the time. They didn't know that you were their divine counterpart. You're their twin. This is someone who just was um, in a confused cycle. They hadn't transformed yet. This person hadn't transitioned, but they wanted them to avoid you. So this could be why it's like they got real jealous, real insecure about you. They didn't want that person to talk to you. Don't answer the phone for that person. Don't go around that person. Because they were intimidated by this union, you being this person's divine counterpart. Yeah. And they felt like you would be left in this energy, heartbroken. But they're stuck in the energy that they wanted you to be in. This person is hurt. They feel lost. This is someone that's depressed. They're going through a lot of emotional pain. It's like they're going through something 10 times worse than what they felt like you would be going through. So somebody is definitely, um, <clears throat> they're not showing their hand. So this could be this emperor, but they're getting ready to like reach out. This is someone who have been thinking about you and they just want to talk to you. They want to tell you how they feel with love call being here. They know that you and them are um, divine counterparts. Yeah, they want to reconcile with you. This is someone who wants to apologize for ghosting you. Or they just feel bad about the actions that they took now that they have gained this clarity. And they also feel like they've wasted a lot of time, a lot of energy on unrequited love. Yeah, this is someone that definitely have learned a lesson. It's like, this is someone who is not going to overlook the red flags anymore. So whenever they got with that person, they just chose to overlook a lot of things that they should have not been avoiding with this person. And they're wishing that they would not have did it because it came back to bite them later. Yeah, with well, time to say goodbye being here. Now, now it's like they're ready. Yeah, this is someone that's definitely trying to manifest you with commitment and manifest your soulmate. Yeah, you have healing. So you could be in a healing phase as well. I see this out here like two times. This could be three times. 
But you could be definitely heal, healing or you've healed from the past. Yeah. You've healed some type of emotional pain that needed to be released. And this is the same thing that this emperor needed to do. They're, they're realizing the reason why they cannot get you off of their mind because you're this person's true love. It's like both people have good intentions for each other. Yeah, this is somebody that loves you from the bottom of their heart. This is unconditional love. And they could be that type of person. You could be that type of person as well. Take it where it resonates. It's like you love people unconditionally. You don't judge people. Um, you don't make people feel less than. It's like you accept people for who they truly are. And if you're someone that's very kind-hearted, very loving, very caring... There was lessons that needed to be learned in this connection in order to be able to um, come back in union with this person. It's like both you and that person could have been caught up in toxic cycles with karmic soulmates. People that were only there to teach you valuable lessons. Whatever bond that you share with this emperor is very strong. Yeah, it's like now they want, this is someone who wants to spend a long time with you. It's like they've been in this energy of being single for a long time. This could be you as well, but somebody is definitely in hermit mode. And they've been contemplating, like, you know, thinking about this reconciliation for a long time, apologizing to you. But they also needed to walk away from things that um, don't serve purpose in their life. People that are not on the same page as them. Not only who, whoever this karmic feminine is, but this was like a cycle of people that don't share the same path as this emperor. It's like they needed to see all of this first in order to be able to wake up to the realization that um, whatever path they take, they have to take it alone. There's things that they would not expect in the past or think that they would have to leave behind that they need to leave behind because it's only hindering their growth. Now, whatever this legal situation is, these accusations that this karmic partner placed, um, went to the authorities and, you know, made up against this emperor, this isolated this emperor. This was supposed to keep this person um, in an energy where they they couldn't they couldn't feel safe or they wouldn't feel they this could be somebody that was already wrapped up in some type of legal situation. They could have been on parole, probation, or something like that. This person could have went back to jail, or this person just could have been in a situation where they couldn't go out much anymore. They couldn't interact with people. This could be someone who had a curfew or something like that. And this karmic soulmate felt like they had all control over that person. They've placed this person in isolation to play tricks over that person's mind to get that person to come back to a toxic karmic relationship. But they did it all for nothing. 
or they they are realizing that they did it all to help this person transcend. To help this person to prepare to take this path by their self. 